Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Halloween necklace DIY. We're gonna be starting with a piece of polymer clay and I'm using the brand Sculpey. The color I'm using is translucent, which is not that translucent, but it's the one that I just sometimes prefer to work with. And I'm going to roll it into a really small, we could say snake, until it's really, really thin. Not too thin because then it's gonna break, but just like thin enough. Then I'm going to be cutting this with my X-Acto knife into four different pieces and I'm just going to arrange it just to smooth the edges and all that stuff, making pointy and then I'm just going to be grabbing one placing it on top of like a cross and then placing another one and another one so it makes like kind of this shape then I'm going to grab my leftover pieces and I'm just going to pretty much cut small tiny pieces out of that one again I'm going to arrange the edges and I'm just going to first make that with my finger. I'm sorry for my thumbs, they look kind of gross. I'm just going for dermatologist, but I thought I would just let you know that. Just try to ignore that. But I'm going to arrange them on top of my like stripes. I don't really know how to call them, but just, you know, making that shape all around it. Once I have the first round, I'm going in for the second round, doing pretty much the same thing, but going on the, the ends of the, you know, the figure, like that. And once we have done that, we're just going to pick this, which is, uh, this is supposed to be the spider web, and just, we're just going to make the, um, like the edges pointy. Then I'm going to be taking jump rings, and I'm going to be taking three, and I'm just going to cut them following by taking more polymer clay, cutting it with my uh, exacto knife, but I'm not going to cut this in half, I'm just going to cut one part bigger than the other one, and then I'm just going to make two circles of those two pieces. That is going to be the body of my uh, spider. I'm just going to grab my half jump rings, and I'm just going to place them like so. It's pretty easy, you just have to push them until it's just there, kind of like half of it. Once I have done that and I have the spider legs, I'm just going to take the smallest piece that I cut it before and that is going to be the head. So I'm just going to place it on the top where I want my head to be or my spider's head to be. And I'm just going to grab a piece of wire and we're just going to place a small tiny head through that wire and then following by that goes the body of the spider. It doesn't really look perfect, but once we bake him and paint him, they're going to look just fine. And then I'm just going to grab some black acrylic paint and a brush. Just work with the best quality of acrylic that you can find or just you may want to use nail polish instead, but I'm just going to be working and covering my first spider web. Just make sure you protect your um, table. For the spider, it's pretty easy. I'm just going to first remove the legs and I'm just going to paint that with my wire in it because it's going to be easier for me to grab it. And then you may have to remove some paint on like the holes. And then I'm just going to let the whole thing dry for 24 hours. Then I'm going to be taking new jump rings and I'm choosing gold. You can choose silver, you can choose rose gold. This is pretty much up to you and your personal taste. And I'm going to be cutting again three so I can have six like spider legs. And then for my spider, like the body, I'm going to remove my wire and I'm going to glue this real thin chain and I'm picking silver for this one. And I'm going to be gluing the whole thing using some epoxy glue. I'm going to glue uh, the chain inside. I'm just going to push it. And then I'm just going to measure how much I want in my spider, like the whole body of the spider to be hanging from my spider web. And then I'm just going to cut the excess, what I don't want. Once I have done that, I'm just going to glue the spider to the spider web. So I'm just going to put my spider web upside down and from the back part, I'm just going to add the glue and I'm just going to place it on top of that and just push it a bit. And here I just uh, place it upside down so I could just um, be sure that I was gluing everything. And yeah, just got to let it dry and set. And then for the spider legs, since we don't have them yet, we're just going to, I'm just going to be using the same epoxy glue that I used and I'm just going to go and add some epoxy glue to my half jump rings and I'm just going to glue them back in those holes that I made before I baked them. And then to make this a charm, I'm just going to be taking another jump ring, I'm just going to open it. Actually, I'm going to be using this uh, chain that I bought at Joann's and I wanted to give it a try. It's a necklace that is ready to go, you don't have to do anything else, you just have to add the 
the charm and I think I would just use advantage of that and just make it happen so then I'm just going to place my jump ring that is open already to my spider web and to my chain like my necklace chain and then I'm just going to close it but yeah, this is pretty much the idea that I wanted to share. I went with gold, silver, and black because I couldn't make my mind if I wanted to go for gold or silver. I think they match perfectly for this design. I wanted to share with you the easiest way that I found on making this. It can be challenging at parts, especially with these spider legs because they are so tiny and you know you have a like, really small space to work with. So I really hope you like it. I think it looks super cute and spooky at the same time. If you don't really know what you want to do for Halloween, you can just wear kind of like necklaces like this one and call it a day and don't worry i tried this on already and it's not pointy these spider legs are not like hurting my skin or anything like that so thank you so much for watching i really hope you like it if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share it i have a diy polymer clay accessories playlist it's on the cards check it out thank you so much for watching and i'll take you later happy halloween bye guys